You can get in there. Alright, um... <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? What? Yeah. On yours? <laughs> Alright. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, second half of 2010 build. 1999 Ford Taurus wagon. Shagging wagon. See ya. Yep. Alright, um, Optimi on the top up front. Kicker 1 all, all the way back. 300 amp fuse. Um, I don't know if you can see this. No, I can't see it. But, um, I'd say about two feet down, maybe. Maybe a foot. No, about a foot and a half. Um, down there's a uh, firewall hole. Really hard to get to. Uh, probably the hardest part of the install so far. Um, there is one back here, but since I have the column shift, um, it's really hard to get to. And uh, also the shift cable runs through it, so it's hard to get one all through. Um, that firewall hole comes out somewhere up there. Um, it's buried way up there. You can't actually see it. Um, you just kind of got to like feel around for it. So that was not fun. But... I got it done. Use the old uh, wire hanger trick. And I got it run from the passenger side to the driver's side all the way across. You can't really see it, there's no bulges. Um, got it run underneath here. As you can tell, it's a lot cleaner than the Civic build. I don't really care about the Civic that much because it was my car, but. This one I wanted to do a cleaner install on. The car's really dirty, but you get the idea. It's, it's pretty clean. You can't see any wires. There's no wires sticking out. There's no bulges in the carpet anywhere um, until I get to here. I haven't really found out what to do with this yet. Um, the wire isn't long enough to get to the battery. Um, like I end right here. The battery is... It's under the box. Underneath here, um, I had to fold down the seats to move the box back to get to it. It's not really that big of a deal, but it's got a bunch of crap in the uh, back seat right now, so I can't get to it. Um, yeah, I'll probably just... Uh, I, got a, I got an extra fuse. I'll probably f fuse right there. And then just use a longer wire than this. Because it probably won't, I don't know, it probably won't reach. Um, I got another kit inside that I could just use some wire from. But yeah, um, got most of the trim panels back on. So far, so good. Uh, this is going to be my nightmare, though. I really don't want to mess with that, so I have to go back here and behind the spare tire. There's a uh, RCU module that controls the uh, the deck up front. Basically, it's a plug. I got a harness coming um, where you can just splice wires and uh, run your own deck. Um, I think it goes the length of the car, so yeah, that should be alright. Plus, I could use it for base race if I ever want to stand outside the car. I don't know. I might just mount it somewhere up front. But yeah, um, so far that's the uh, second half of the 2010 build. Um, oh yeah, if you didn't see the first build, it's the same equipment, so, but the Sundown 3500, probably running at half ohm, um, still have more power um, from the car. Let's go twice as big, or uh, the alternator is twice as big, um, Optima yellow top up front, which should help, it's a lot better than a 65 amp alt, and a uh, little street duty battery, 
So, um, yeah, stay tuned, and uh, should have the build done within the next week or so. All right.